This is another textbook data set from Holmes, Moody and Dine, Research Methods for the Biosciences. In this data set, they've collected snail shells from Sabia nemoralis, and they're available, they found in two habitats, coastal and hedgerow. They're also found in four different colours, yellow non-banded, pink banded, yellow banded, and pink non-banded. So what the question in their research is, is there a difference in the distribution of colours in the coastal and hedgerow environments? The first thing you want to do is carry out a contingency table across tabulation, so descriptive statistics and cross tabulations. But you're also interested in doing the hypothesis test, and you can do both things at the same time. So in this case, habitat is going to be the rose because it is affecting what colour the snails are. For the cells, you want to put on the percentages for each row to show if there's a difference in the percentage of each of the different colours in each of the different environments. You've got your percentages, press continue. As well as doing that, you want to calculate the chi-squared test. This is the hypothesis test of are the two distributions the same in the two different environments, or are they different? In this case, we go to statistics, click on chi-squared test, and press continue, and go for OK. So this produces the cross-tabulation, so 17.932, 17 17.932.1%. And here it's 26, 16, 44, and 12.2. So it seems there's a difference between the banded and non-banded in the diff uh, pink banded and pink non-banded within the coastal and hedgerow environments. So you go to the chi-squared test table, and you can see that the Pearson's chi-squared test statistic is 14.335. It's got three degrees of freedom because there are four different colours. The number of degrees of freedom is the number of columns, minus one, multiplied by the number of rows, minus one. In this case, there are two rows, so two minus one, that's one, multiplied by four, minus one, which is three, so that's three degrees of freedom. And this next thing is the asymptotic significant two-sided. This is the p-value for that test. In this case, it's 0.002, which is less than 0.05. So there's a significant difference in the distribution of colours of Sapia nemoralis between coastal and hedgerow habitats.